Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause for these two speakers. And before we formally end the discussion, I would like to request Mr. Yaqub Sattar, former ICAP president and current council member, to please come on the stage and summarize the debate from his and audience perspective. Mr. Yaqub Sattar. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. I know it's getting late and to summarize such a wonderful debate, it's almost impossible because uh, they've already said what they wanted to say and we all heard those exciting things that were said. Now, it's, it's practically impossible to summarize, but uh, there were really good lessons we took uh, from this debate. The way they mentioned about uh, the internet being used 1% in 95 and then 40% in these times and uh, the many innovations that are taking place. Now the main point that I picked up is that we have to follow these three words because if IT or uh, uh, innovation is VUCA, then the finance function has to adapt because as we have seen and uh, from the debate, that things are changing, things are being developed and innovated in a very fast pace. Uh, we see Toyota as a sponsor here. The CEO of Toyota visited us in PSO. We were talking about the new fuel that we are trying to bring in for the cars and the vehicles. What he said that, uh, because he sits in all those uh, joint meetings with Toyota and he mentioned that in, in their strategy sessions, what they are discussing now is the cars are now going to be 40% just vehicles and 60% would be information gatherers because the car exactly knows where you go in the evening and your wife may be also buying data from Toyota. So there will be millions and millions of tons of data which the cars would be collecting and they will look at consumer behavior, the behavior of their customers, where they go, they are the leisure types. So they will then advertise you in, uh, or approach you in a different manner. Similarly, I met another friend last week over dinner and he said that in the first week of June, they are going to announce some big technological change in their organization. So what he said that we started off with these small computers, then we had the mainframes and the ERP, and now it's machine to machine. And we just saw last week in the newspaper where a IT, where a uh, IPP or a power generating company has signed a contract with GE where computers would now control the efficiency of the utility. And a 1% change means a quarter of a billion rupee for that organization. So those are the uh, areas where we need to change. We had a strategy session two weeks ago and our chairman mentioned a very interesting thing that uh, during our childhood, we all remember watching Star Trek, the Mr. Spock with the sharp ear and all those people in that. And he said, tell me how many things have not yet been invented. So we all concluded except for beaming up, the rest are all reality. So things that you imagine for the future you have to have imagination. And that is how we started our strategy session as to imagine where we want to be in the next 10 years, 20 years or 15 years. Now IT or finance, who's the boss? That's a very difficult one to tell. We were sitting in our management committee meeting yesterday the whole day until about 7.30 in the evening. And I was thinking about this session and I saw that the CEO is the boss. And the IT guys were there, the finance guys were there. So they're all part of the team. But the more grounded the IT or the finance function is in its business, the more successful will, be, will that organization be. So we all have to be very, very realistic. We have to be very well connected with our business. Uh, Vakar mentioned that uh, why is only the fight between IT and finance, why not marketing? Because IT has eliminated marketing in some of the businesses. Like he mentioned Airbnb, there's no salesman. Travel agent, I don't go to a travel agent, I buy tickets online. There's no salesman for me. 
the barber, yes, a day I'm waiting where a cap would come, I'll just wear the cap and the cap would do, <laughs> do the job. <laughs> so I don't have to go to a barber, inshallah, in the coming days. So that's how technology would change things. But uh, the message for our finance professionals, adapt to whatever technology comes up, innovate, and I'm sure you'll excel. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. Yaqub Sattar. And can you please ask Toyota not to share our data with the spouses? <laughs> I think that's some, everybody would want that. Thank you, sir.